Well, hello, this is Ferrari King. I'm back for another top 10 list. In this top 10 list, we're going to do Grand Theft Auto 6, 10 things we would like to see in Grand Theft Auto 6. Of course, my list is, of course, going to be different than what some of you guys may want. May want. So feel free in the comments, you know, leave what you, leave what you would like to see in Grand Theft Auto 6. Well, first one that I have is a female protagonist. Usually when I play games, like if I get an option, I usually get the option. I usually will play as the fem female instead of the male. It's just I like to do that. I would like to see in Grand Theft Auto 6 the ability to play as a female character. At least one of the protagonists, at least one protagonist to be a female character. You know, we can do whatever we want with, you know, the character. You know, you know, like we did before Grand Theft Auto 5, you switch between Michael, Trevor, and Franklin. And I would like to see with this one at least, you know, a female. And of course, a female bad guy to go along with it. You know, a female antagonist. So far, we've all always had male antagonists. You know, how about a female antagonist? That goes with number one. Number two, multiple protagonists, like in Grand Theft Auto 5. I like the idea of being able to switch between characters. Three, four, it doesn't matter. And same with the antagonist, too. It would be kind of nice to have more than one antagonist, you know. Like Grand Theft Auto 5, where you had several people. But I would like to see more antagonists. I mean, protagonists. We like to be able to change, you know, switch between them. And, of course, I like I like in Grand Theft Auto V, you know, you never knew what they were going to do, what they could be in the middle of. And I would like that same thing to carry over Grand Theft Auto Six. You know, at least have one character that would be great, that would be like Trevor. Three, be able to visit other cities, you know, such as Vice City, Los Santos, and Liberty City. It would be great to be able to go there, and you can go to places like Cluck and Bell, and all these other places, and just visit the visit the town and drive through and be some missions there side missions and all this stuff down there you know and you visit these places and of course you may run into some some people who knows but you know that's a nice thing that i would like to see be able to visit you know what cities would you like to visit you know and of course some new cities obviously i wouldn't mind seeing vice city and liberty city and los santos again and this time the uh, larger area of Lens, los santos Four, be able to buy and sell properties, you know. And yeah, we were able to buy some properties in Grand Theft Auto Five, even. And, and, and of course, I'm talking about not just properties, but cars, planes, helicopters, boats, things like that. But I would like to see a better selection of places you can buy. And I mean, like restaurants and stuff that you actually can enter in and then take part of the business and do all that type of stuff. Strong arm other people. You know, you you try and you know you actually have your goons go into your competitors. You know, they attack them. You're able to do these type of things. I would love to see that in Grand Theft Auto Six. And of course, five, which kind of goes on with what I just said, though, be able to enter and explore more buildings when you go to whatever city you're in. You go to um, Los Santos. Vice City, wherever, you're able to enter buildings and explore. You know, you have skyscrapers. You can go in there and go into some of the rooms and do however you want to do. And you have your gang go in there and do whatever. You know, your goons with you. Or however they're going to set up. You know, you have people working with you, you know. You're always making allies and stuff throughout the game. And you want to see more of them being able to help you out. They join you and they, you know, you take over parts of the city and stuff like that. I would love to see that you take over parts of the city, you know, the buildings and then you have you can explore more areas. Number six, have at least one protagonist you can build. That I would like. You know, you get the choice of at least one prota or the protagonist that you can actually make look however you want. You know, the hair, the eyes, the gender, whatever. You have one protagonist. At least one would be nice that you can make that person look the way you want. Change whatever features, you know, the skin color, the eye color, the hair color, the gender, whatever. You can change the voice, have the voice not match, you know, you can have a trans person or whatever. You know, but the op option to actually build your character and make them the way you want them to be, that would be, 
I think would be great. I would love to see that. Because I personally, I think Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be a very good game. I think it's probably going to be one of the better ones. I hope. Number 7. Have characters from previous Grand Theft Autos. You know, the previous games, so that's some of the other characters, you know, make an appearance. We go to Los Santos. I mean, I'm sorry. We go to Liberty City, and we run into Nico Bellic's cousin. I'm sure Nico Bellic is dead. I doubt he's alive. So we at least run into the cousin, and we find out what happened to Nico. Maybe Nico is alive and faked his death or whatever. Because there's a video on YouTube, a uh, Grand Theft Auto video. It shows you some certain hints you can find. It shows you that Nico Bellic is most likely dead. Because there's like certain things you go and you go into uh, uh, that piss water. One of them you see blood on there and it turns out that piss water is actually owned by the, by the Bullocks, I believe it was. But you know, you watch, if you can find the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. But you run into all these, like for example, Trevor. Because remember, if, if, if you were playing Trevor and you read his emails, at the end of the game, he gets an email from Johnny's girlfriend basically where she threatens to kill him so you know I'd like to see that play out too you know see what happens maybe she does kill John kill Trevor who knows Trevor probably has a lot of enemies I wouldn't be shocked if someone actually wants to kill him so it'd be nice you see previous characters you know again um, Patrick McQuarrie it'd be great if he shows up and there's a whole lot of other characters let me know what characters you like to see show up because there's Plenty of them. Franklin, I would love to see Franklin again. Hell, even be able to play as him again would be great. You know, have Franklin show, you know, with Chop, you know, whoever. And be able to sometimes to play as all the other characters too, not just the characters that you chose. Yeah, I know that's kind of like an extra one, but you know, oh, that's just what we're going to say. And eight, more heist and assassination missions. You know, hopefully I like to see Lester, but it doesn't have to necessarily be Lester. But I like to be able to do more bank heists, not just part of the missions, but you do it on your own. And you have these people like Patrick McQuarrie and all these people you can choose from to be part of it. It doesn't have to be a lot of heists, but enough, and you can earn money to do that. And you do the heist, and then you do the assassination missions. You know, Lester or whoever gives you these people, hey, you gotta assassinate these people, you can work for the police. The cop tells you, well, this person, this person, you know, and have, have a lot of them, not just a few of them. That would be, in my opinion, would be wonderful. And I hope that some of you guys are still watching at this point. <laughs> I have a hard time retaining people. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and of course, share this video, you know, however. But I really would like to hear your opinion on what you would like to see in Grand Theft Auto. And of course, nine, be able to run a business and make money. You know, you're running, not just your drug business, but you know, you buy property, as I was saying, you know, restaurants, grocery stores, or whatever. And, you, and of course, I like to see gyms. You can actually go in the gym and buff up. But, you know, you take the, you run them. And, of course, as I was saying, you you know, you battle other, some others. Stores, you know, you strong on them, bust up their property and stuff like that. And you're actually earning money for yourself. You still, you know, you're earning money. You, see, you know, the area what tells you how much money you have. You see it actually increasing every few hours or day, game hours or days. That would be nice not just earning money from heists and everything like this make it a little bit well you know i'm not gonna say make, don't make it a little easier to get money don't have to be like super easy but just a little easier would be kind of nice you know it'd be nice to be able to make some more money sorry my throat's a little dry i got neighbors that smoke and they like to do it around outside the apartment and you know they don't care that how it affects them that's why i cough and everything 10 more side missions. Come, let's have more side missions. You, know, you go to Los Santos, Vice City, you know, Liberty City, and there's side missions you do in there. You know, some nice side missions. I like, to me it'd be funny, have one where we smear feces on certain people's restaurants. You know, somebody's trying to get revenge on a certain restaurant. They say, hey, take this feces, and you throw it there, and you smear it. That'd be kind of neat, I think. You know, have some funny side missions. Nothing that's like unrealistic, not... You know, Saints Row 3 level of silliness, but you know, something fun. <clears throat> you know, like 
but have you know have some good side missions. And some of the side missions, you know, you work and you again bust up things. You know, the police might have missions where, hey, this person's gotten away with a crime. We did all this work. Judge, let them go. We want you to attack this person, and we want you to do something to the judge too. You know, things like that to beef up the game. I would like to see all these things. And, and that's, of course, it to this top 10 list. Uh, let me know what you think. What do you want to see in Grand Theft Auto 6? Uh, and, of course, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And, of course, after you subscribe, don't forget to share this video. Thanks.